My name's John, I'm from the Institute of Education and I've got a PhD in Economics and Social Statistics. My area of research is cross-national comparisons of children's educational attainment. I'm particularly interested in how performance has changed in this country over time relative to our international competitors. The research involves large-scale statistical analysis of complex data sets. Working with someone like John gives our arguments real weight. Um, it's, you know, it's the sort of the basis of the arguments that we use when we're talking to politicians and policy makers. Um, it shows that we've got evidence behind what we're saying. At the moment we're using his research to talk to policy makers about the impact that a child's social background can have on its educational attainment across a range of countries. One interesting thing that John's found is that actually the link between um, a child's family background and their educational attainment is stronger in England than in other countries. One of our main areas of work is trying to influence education policy in the UK for the better and using research like John has done um, helps us talk to policy makers and explain to them where more effort is needed to improve outcomes for our most disadvantaged children. Research on cross-national comparisons have been used to say that England's educational performance has been declining over time. However, I'd realised that it wasn't quite as simple as that. I had an inkling that I would find something simply because I started using this data through uh, my PhD uh, and I would spotted one or two things that I thought might be problematic there. We had been commissioned to do some work for the Department for Education to give them a presentation uh, on international comparisons and it suddenly clicked in that meeting that actually the Department for Education may not have realised uh, quite the seriousness of the uh, situation. Yes, we seem to be going down in one of these kind of big international ranking studies, but in another we're actually going up the rankings. My work showed that the story that we're going down the rankings is quite sensitive to who took the different tests at the different years, the month that the study was conducted in, and then there would be some changes to how the test was conducted between the different years. Potentially the data was quite far out. We at the Institute of Education decided to put out a press release about the story because we thought it was important for the wider general public to know. It got picked up by BBC News, The Times and the Telegraph. They were interested in the findings because it directly contradicted what a lot of important policymakers were claiming about England's educational performance. Since the story came out, I've been liaising closely with the Department for Education. We've discussed the issues just so we can kind of get a better idea about what's really happening to work out exactly how our performance has changed over time relative to other countries. For me, this has been quite a good thing, obviously, for my career. I've been able to develop further contacts within the Department for Education, but also with a lot of other external stakeholders and organisations that I'm going to be able to draw on uh, for support as I move forward uh, and do further work using this data. This isn't only just about the numbers. Teachers may feel despondent about themselves, about their pupils, if there's always stories coming out about how badly we're doing and how we're falling down these international rankings. What I've done is hopefully put a nice correction into that and made them realise that things potentially aren't that bad and hopefully give them a motivational boost.